Hello to each of you who have signed up to volunteer online with the Aid Workers Network. I'm Jane Cravens, and I'm also a volunteer with the Aid Workers Network. As you know, everybody with the Aid Workers Network is a volunteer. Uh, my primary role with the network is to support other online volunteers. I come up with most of the online volunteering assignments, and I give the welcome and orientation to all new volunteers, and I support and supervise most of the online volunteers. And this is a short video welcome, just to say hi, and just so you know I'm a real person. And it's an opportunity for me to emphasize to you a few things you should keep in mind about the A-Workers Network during your service. Oh, and I also want to note that I'm in Germany, but I'm obviously not German. I'm actually an American. As you'll be reminded again and again, the people that support the Aid Workers Network are all volunteers. Everybody who's, who writes to the forum or answers email questions, everybody on the board, everyone who helps with technical issues on the website, we're all volunteers. Now, we're professional aid workers. We're professional aid and development workers. Uh, some people are in Afghanistan or in Africa or somewhere in Central or South America. Who knows? And many people have full-time jobs. They're working with the United Nations. They're working with some other international development organization. But in their spare time, and they don't have a lot of spare time, but in that spare time, they are working to support this online network where aid workers all over the world can get together and share information and help each other out. So without volunteers, the Ed Workers Network wouldn't exist. So a big thank you again for signing up to help out. By now, and probably long ago, you've received the online orientation uh, that gives you all the details about what it's like to volunteer with us, our policies and procedures. I really hope that you have read this in detail. It has many important points in it, and I'm sorry that it's really long, but there's really no way to make it shorter. Everything there are things that you really need to keep in mind. And uh, so please read it. I'll know if you don't, uh, if you ask questions that I know are in that orientation. So I, I really can't emphasize enough. Please read that orientation. And by now, you've also probably received your first assignment. And some of you may have already even finished that assignment. Uh, but the assignment reads getting started in subject line most of the time and it details everything that you need to do and it details the deadlines and it talks about reporting. Now reporting is very important and I ask that you report in on the 1st and the 15th of the month when you're actively working on an assignment. If you don't report in I have no idea if you're working on it or not. So reporting in is absolutely fundamental if I can, I'll try to send a reminder, but if you can, please put something on your cell phone reminder or on your online calendar or your computer calendar to remind you to please report in and do so per the details that we have in your first assignment. We ask for specific things that you're supposed to report in on. Please follow that guideline. And uh, a lot of these tasks that we ask online volunteers to do is of a time-sensitive nature. Those deadlines are real. And if you don't finish something by the deadline, it can affect the work of other online volunteers. It can delay a project that we're working on. So please respect the deadlines. Please make time to do your assignment. If you find that you can't, write me as early as possible to let me know. Uh, sometimes I know things can happen, but it's really important that you, you make the time to do your assignment before you sign up even to do that assignment. Th these are real. These are all real uh, assignments, real work that we need done. And if it's not done, we have to scramble to find somebody else to do it. And, and that can delay a lot of things. And finally, when your assignment ends, your volunteering does not have to end. We, we really want to keep you involved. If you have an idea for volunteering, something you would like to do, write me and suggest it. If you see something on the online volunteering service that we've posted, a request for online volunteers and you'd like to do it, email me. You don't have to apply again. You only have to apply once. And if I see something that I think you'll be interested in, I might write you. And you can say no. That's fine too. But uh, please jump into the forum if you think you can help with somebody that's asked a question uh, or if you have a question. 
please participate. We really want you involved with the Aid Workers Network. We, we really want to keep you in the family. And we really want to make sure that you have a, an enjoyable experience. So that's just a short video welcome, very informal. I didn't even do my hair. And uh, I hope this has given you a little friendly hello. And I'm really looking forward to working more with you. Thanks.